So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we do also see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems. So here at Everyday Mathematics, um, we do solve uh, these problems that we think um, hard, and we come here and uh, we share them with you. So today we look at the MIT uh, 2024 uh, Integration B Finals, and look at the problem uh, number one. Um, so this problem is the integral of e to the power x over 2 uh, cosine x over uh, the cube root of 3 cosine x plus 4 sine x. Um, so before I jump into the solution, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, just uh, giving us the support you give us. It's because of your support that we come back here time and again and share with you some of uh, the solutions we come up with. Uh, for our first time visitors, what we do here at Everyday Mathematics, we do go about and you know look for problems that seem challenging. And we come back here and share with you some of the solutions that we think uh, maybe fit the problems we share with you. Then uh, for our repeating visitors who haven't yet gotten the nerve to subscribe to our channel, we uh, do encourage you to please consider uh, subscribing to our channel. Um, so these problems, um, this problem here is uh, interesting and one thing that uh, I personally would consider is looking at the denominator and see that there should be a derivative of um, uh, 3 cosine x plus 4 sine x to the power 1 over 3 plus 1. And then that has to be combined with the derivative of e to the power x over 2. So it's a product of uh, the function 3 cosine x plus 4 sine x to the power uh, 2 over 3 and the uh, e to the power x over 2. And one thing that needs to be obviously figured out is the constant it's the constant uh, k uh, that needs to, to be figured out um, so that when you consider the product, uh, the derivative of the product of this to the power 2 over 3 and this, it should be okay. So I'm trying to figure out the product k so that when I get the derivative of this, which is this, times the derivative times uh, this, um, I mean, when I get the product of this and this, and then get the different uh, the derivative, I should multiply with that constant and sh should actually get what is inside this integral sign on the left hand side. Um, so um, when I keep this constant here and have this derivative here um, plus uh, this times the derivative of e to the power x over two, um, I should ideally. Uh, get whatever is on the left hand side. So um, k and then we have uh, e to the power x over 2 times the derivative of this plus this plus the derivative of x over 2 which is e to the power x over 2 over 2. Uh, that should be equal to whatever is on um, the left hand side. So then, as you know, we keep maintaining our constant there, uh, as shown here. So with k there, and then combining everything together, um, you see the sine terms cancel out, and then we're left with 8 over 3 cosine x plus 3 over 2 cosine x, right? Um, so that becomes uh, e to the power x over 2, 25 over 6 cosine x over the cube root of 3 cosine x plus 4 sine x. Now we see that we have this constant 25 over 6 uh, that needs to be negated so that the left and the right b should be equal. And that is uh, when uh, k equals to 6 over 25, right? So when k is equal to 6 over 25, both the left hand and the right hand sides are equal. And that means that for our uh, integral here, it means that it's 6 over 25 times the integral of um, times the integral of the derivative of uh, 3 cosine x plus 4 sine x to the power 2 over 3 and e to the power x over 2, right, as you can see. Uh, so. Um, the answer, therefore, obviously is uh, 6 over 25. When you integrate this derivative, we get 6 over 25 times e to the power x over 2 times 3 cosine x plus 4 
sine x to the power 2 over 3 plus the integration constant. And that, our friends or my friends, is the answer. So um, I hope you did uh, enjoy following along. Um, but it was an absolute pleasure solving this problem uh, for you. Thank you very much. Until next time, uh, to the local approach and for.